Hey everyone, this is Chanyo66, and this is the second video to the My Fly Dream Autopilot system. This, as I explained earlier, is an autopilot with FPV on screen display built into it. So, what I'll do is I'll start off with basic connections. I'm going to start off with a standard servo connection for those of you who don't have PPM, and then I will show connecting it with PPM. So, what I'll do is I'll start off by standing these up next to each other and my transmitter is set up aileron elevator throttle rudder channel 5 channel 6 so all I have to do is connect channel 1 to aileron channel 2 to elevator 3 to throttle 4 to rudder 5 to 5 and 6 to 6 so it's a pretty simple setup you just want to make sure that they're oriented correctly they'll be plugged into the very bottom of the autopilot as seen here so I'll plug in the other five cables. So that's channel two. Channel three. Channel four. Channel 5 here. Channel 5 is the first control line for the autopilot, and channel 6 is the second control line for the autopilot. These both work together to tell it what mode to be in and what kind of stabilization or return to home to actually be working. So there it is. This is now connected with all six cables. Uh, it works. I mean, there's many people that fly with stuff like, with them like this. I mean, you can just set it up in there and keep it pretty clean. I prefer to actually slim this down and one method if you have a receiver that does not have PPM is you can slim it down by repurposing cables. So what you can do is you can either take these cables apart so take the red and black out and only have a bunch of white wires or you can take a few of these off so like these right here so we took three away, and if you line this up on the signal pins, plug it in. So now if you look at it, channel four is black, five is red, six is white. So what we'll do is we'll go over to our receiver here and plug it in the same way. So four is black, five is red, six is white. You now eliminated six wires from this so it'll definitely save quite a bit of weight you can continue on and do this again uh, if you had a little two wire setup but you do have to have one that has power and ground going to it so to slim it down even more you can go into PPM which is what I'm going to use now the PPM is on channel 5 or 6 input on the MyFlyDream system depending on what what mode your transmitter sends the signals out in is what you would want to use. So if you check the My Fly Dream manual, you'll see there which ones you would need to use for JR, FR Sky, anything like that for whatever P PPM modes there are. So with PPM, we get rid of five of these cables and we're just going to use a single one and on Dragon Link it's connected here to channel 12 because that's where my firmware has it. And channel 5 which is right there. So a single wire and it's all connected ready to go. You have full control. So what I'll do is I'll just lay this down here get the wire tucked down. I'll start with the outside wires because it helps out uh, organization. So we'll start with the GPS which is the very bottom right connection. It's as far as you can go. The next one is going to be the 12 volt input and that is the very top left connector so there's both of those the next connection is going to be for your camera which your ground is going to be oriented towards your 12 volt wire after that we will connect the transmitter cable which is oriented the same as the camera cable so there's both of those a method that I use to line up the current sensor correctly 
is using the USB data cable. What I'll do is I'll just plug this in directly next to the GPS. So it's plugged in right next to it. Then I'll take this and the ground is going to go next to the green on the USB programmer. Right there. Now you can remove this and everything is configured how you need. Now you can take your servos and plug them in for your aileron here and your elevator and then you would plug a throttle line in so I'll use my ESC over here so there's the throttle wire and then you would plug in your last servo which is your rudder all connections are ready the pin between the transmitter and your current sensor is your RSSI so if you wanted to connect a RSSI line you would plug it in there and then plug it into where your RSSI is on your receiver you don't need another ground for RSSI that's why they don't have another pin here for ground because you it's already using the ground from your PPM or your servo lines whichever you're using so here's the whole wiring I'll remove the servos so you can see a little bit better the rest of the wiring and there it is the only thing left to do is to actually plug in your transmitter right there and that is it so if you have any questions or if you'd like to see some closer shots just let me know I'll have a few stills and try to get some more zoomed in shots for anyone that needs it but that is it so check back soon for configuring and installing this in, a, in an aircraft Chan Yoke out